hi, my name is Brittany, and yes, I'm making another vlog in less than a month's time. Isn't it amazing? Um, I don't like making videos for no reason or something, just because, I don't know. So, this video is about more hair salon related tips, things to to help you really that are not just about hair salons if you see the bigger message. Um, I don't normally pitch makeup, uh, you know, because there's enough girls doing that, but I started using this. This is Revlon Color Stay. Okay. And it's brown. Comes with a brush goes into the lid. Okay, so what's my point? There are a lot of eyeliners out there that I wouldn't let my worst enemy wear. They don't last. They fail at the worst time. That stuff is um, very good. So, uh, you know, maybe you pay six, seven dollars for it. Maybe eight dollars in Manhattan. I don't know. Um, all right, so anyway, um, was in the hair salon today. Uh, as you can see, it's getting really long. Boobs are here, hair is here. Uh, no wig, no hair extensions, none of that stuff. Um, for those girls who do, God bless you. Do what makes you happy, but not for me. Um, so I have a hair, I have a colorist that's there. This guy is the uh, same as the guy that cuts my hair. Very good. Um, for those of you who are not aware, uh, I'm 24-7, so big deal. But I'm also 5 foot 10. Um, I just wore flip-flops in there today because my ankle was bothering me from kickboxing. But I'm still 5 foot 10, 5 foot 10 and a half, whatever. And a lot of the women that are in there are elderly. They are elderly Jewish women, but all women, when they get up there, are, are little, 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 you know? So, and I'm big, 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 big. So you can just imagine. And, you know, I got a lot of looks. And, um, you know, on some levels you want to, you want to say something. You're like, what are you looking at? What's your problem? But really, um, it's just human nature to look, you know. And uh, the best thing I would do is just smile with a pretty smile and keep going. You know, just be genuine with your smile. And uh, there was one lady who was kind of staring at me and I smiled at her, like a nice smile. And she smiled back at me and that was the end of it, you know. And there was, there were more of those, you know. and. Uh, honestly, somebody in there called me by my boy name because I've been in there like for over two years. And I just stopped him in his tracks. I'm like, no. I said, if you call me that, I am not going to answer you. And I really put it to him. I didn't let him off the hook. And don't you let people off the hook sometimes? He's like, oh, well, I'll call you what I want. I'm like, no, you're not. Actually, you're not. I'm telling you. Just like that. You be very firm with people like that who think they're going to run you around the flagpole. Don't let them do it. So anyway, you know, when you get those weird looks in the street and stuff, you know, being a woman is about having poise and grace and, weird as it sounds, courage under fire because whether it's a bullet or an arrow or it's somebody staring at you with a pair of eyes that could double as laser beams, okay, you just have to deal with it. And that's what you do with a pretty smile. You lady. It's, you know, it's not as easy as it sounds, but just go through the motions and it'll eventually become yours. Trust me, I have a severe temper that I wouldn't want to unleash on someone. You know, serious. So, there's 
always two ways to do something, you know, and I you take the high road with people. On the other hand, if they think they're going to run you around the flagpole like this one guy did today in the, in the salon, then you have it out with him, and I let other people hear what I was saying. You know? And you demand the respect you deserve. Don't stand for less. But, trust me, I, I don't look bad. You know? Um, there are women in there that are stylists. They're like, your hair is a, is a 10 out of 10 for thickness and all this other shit. And you have women in there that are losing their hair and everything else. And they're not just looking at you because you're a freak show. They're looking at you because they envy you. Or they envy me. You know? Um, being transgender has its pluses. So this video is, is also a, a sort of emotion, uh, emotive... <laughs> I'm learning to talk. English is my new language. Um, you know, it's about motivation. Ugh, what am I saying? You have to look for, for the plus sides of things. Okay, here it is. They might be they might be staring at you because they, they ha you have something they want. Um, transgender girls were biological boys. Yeah, and. Uh, some guys have extremely thick hair like I did when I was playing the role of a guy. I don't really think I ever was a guy. I just pretended to be one my whole life. And I really did a miserable job of it. And we all see what I really am. So, and I'm very proud of it. And, uh, a story. So, turn the radio down here. Anyway. They may have, you may have something they want. I have good skin, I got beautiful hair, I have all this stuff. A lot of girls have acne because of, the, of, their, of their periods and all this other stuff. You don't realize. I, I was in there and there was one woman that had a hairy freaking back in the, in the bottom. It's hormones, you know? And I have like almost no hair on my body. So, you just have to count your blessings and shut up about everything else. Don't nitpick the crap you can't do anything about. I can't do anything about the big hands or the bigger feet or any other shit or the fact you know, that I wear a 40-inch band. I don't give a shit. And if they don't like it, then they can look the other way. But you just stay calm and, and you just make the most out of what you are. You know, and go through your life and be happy about what you have and stop complaining about what you don't have alright so uh, this is the end of the year I don't think I'll be making another video uh, before um, the new year <laughs> again I'm learning to talk uh, I don't know whatever that was um, I guess that's it you know I don't do the guy, talk about guy stuff because there's plenty of girls that do that. I just try to like keep you going. Just like other girls have you know, helped me keep going. You gotta stand up to people. You have to, you really have to know who you are. You know, don't dwell too much on your looks. Like, you gotta let the mirror go. You can't stand in front of the mirror constantly. And what that means is, sorry, an itch. You have to at some point have the confidence to step away from the proverbial mirror or which is like, what do I, what do I look like? What do I look like? Always being worried about that. Or the real mirror and just go out in the world and be confident of who you are and your looks and all that stuff. And I've learned to do that. You know, um, I don't constantly check my makeup or stuff like that. Uh, by the way, that eyeliner, that's, a, that's an all-day eyeliner. You may have to touch it up. I, t I touched it up a tiny bit after like eight hours. Um, like I said, I don't normally pitch stuff. There is one other thing I could give you that could be of interest. Uh, for tall girls like me with bigger feet like me, or girls that have the pocketbook to spend on um, custom-made shoes. <sighs> Excuse me. We're not talking about 
Louis Vuitton or I don't know um, Bruno Magli or, or any of those or um, the uh, $1,200 red sole versions or, or whatever we're talking about. Um, I'm not necessarily a brand girl. Um, shoes of Prey, shoesofprey.com. It, not only is it valuable because you can buy shoes that will fit your feet no matter how fat, no matter how long, no matter what. Uh, and they make custom shoes, like it, the colors you want, the heel height you want, the platform height you want, all kinds of stuff. It's really cool. And you get up there, open an account, it's free, and you can sit there and, and configure shoes and save them in your profile until you're blue in the face. You know, and um, like when, I, when I'm feeling depressed, sometimes I will go up there and just make up a couple of pair of shoes that I like and, and, and trash the stuff that was sitting in there that I, that I don't like anymore. So, that could be fun. Okay? Maybe in another video I will teach you how to um, uh, get your best deal in some of the stores like Express, for example. One place I shop. Alright. Love you. Enjoy your life. Don't don't spend your time thinking about what you don't have. Um, think about what you do have. On the hormone front, I've been off of progesterone for a while. I may, I may go back on it. I, I don't know. Uh, for those of you who are not keen on what progesterone does, or supposedly does, uh, it builds mammary tissue. Now, we're not talking about breast tissue. We're talking about, specifically, breast tissue is, is fatty tissue, okay? But mammary tissue are all the ducts and stuff that the milk goes through for the baby, okay? So, volumetrically speaking, your breast size can be double if progesterone does its thing and builds all the, all the mammalian ducts that would go inside the breast tissue. You follow? And it literally could double your volume. Now, there are some side effects. They are significant if not carefully monitored. And, and it, you, it's like a um, it's like a situation you really got to keep under control. So here, the story is is that progesterone, when it goes through its chemical synthesis, can spin off uh, androgens, DHT, dihydroxytestosterone, which will make you get hair will help you grow hair. The opposite of what you want. You need to be on the most effective antiandrogens there is. Now I'm on finasteride, half a milligram, and I'm on at night I take it and I take Spiro twice a day, 100 milligrams each time. I'm gonna take, stop taking the finasteride and we'll start taking its, we'll call it sister drug. It has a different name. It's chemically a bit different. And instead of finasteride only putting the stop on about two thirds of the free flowing test, uh, DHT, uh, dihydroxy testosterone, um, free testosterone in your blood, it will it'll abate, it'll stop about 96%. And that's, that is dutasteride. Now, classically, dutasteride is only sold in brand name, right? and it's like five dollars a pill. It is ridiculous. Uh, I use, I use four, numeral four, four corners pharmacy. So it's numeral four corners, like the corner of a building, for, uh, pharmacy com. okay? And they have a, a generic equivalent for dutasteride. It's also a half a milligram. I would take it at night. Uh, I think it's really gonna help you know, because I still get a bit of hair growth that I has to be. It's costing me a fortune in electrolysis, and for electrolysis to keep going. And she's telling me it's new hair growth, and I'm like, you know, it's coming from somewhere. You always have to figure out where's it coming from. So I'm thinking there's still enough testosterone. It's highly effective to producing hair growth, even in the most minute quantities. So if you're only stopping it with finasteride, two thirds of it, say. There's still potentially enough there to, um, maybe it's not going to man you up, but it's going to give you hair. So, 
try the Dutasteride generic equivalent. I don't know what it's called. I think it's Dutagen or something. Just put in Dutasteride and at the bottom it'll show you the generic equivalents. And it's like less than 20% of the cost of Dutasteride per dose. So, uh, good luck. And you can also get Dutasteride through in the United States, but it's only the brand name and you have to get it through your doctor. And um, if you don't have health insurance, it could cost you $120 to $150 a month for it. So y you may want to source it out overseas. All right. Love you. I'm glad you watch. If you're new to this channel, please go back and watch the old videos. Yeah, I I'm a little bit... As, as good as I thought I look, I think I look better now. And this is like hard as the desk or whatever but I'm really you know it's 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 life you know you're just gonna progress and you're gonna see yourself change people are gonna notice you'll notice yourself on video if you do videos all right uh, I guess that's it so bye love y'all take care